and that's that symbiotic relationship. Like yeah. when, when the Giants this year got Cruz in the slot, Manningham really stepped up. Hakeem Nix became one of the better guys in the NFL, and all of a sudden Eli's elite. Well, Eli was. I mean, he's getting better, but you're talking about how important but, that but, is. But, I mean, but, but here's the here's the deal. Eli threw for almost uh, five thousand yards, twenty nine touchdowns, and what he's doing right now, and I think his entire career, he done thrown for how many yards? Like 20, 29,000 or something like that. It's just incredible what he's doing yep. and the numbers that he's putting up. Now he got the weapons outside with uh, Knicks, Cruz, Manningham, and uh, with uh, Knicks being 100% now, now Cruz, go, he goes back into the slot position. Yep. Now he's going to be a hard matchup for that, that secondary. So they got the weapons, uh, they got the, the right quarterback that's, uh, that's orchestrating the uh, offense, and that's why they're having so much uh, success on the football field right now. And Cruz is an unusual slot guy because he, you know, most slot guys are, you know, slant, post, whatever. But he'll but, go straight up to see yeah, 29 exactly, yards. Exactly. So, uh, you know, you look at New England and, and what they have to pair for this week, uh, who are you going to put on Cruz? Are you going to put Julian uh, Edelman mm -hmm. on him? It's no way. That's, <laughs> that's death. Yeah. That's lethal right there so so it's gonna be interesting to see uh, him work the middle and also go deep uh, but they got so many great weapons and this uh, offense is playing so well right now then their defense is also with uh, Jason Pierre Paul uh, OC uh, Yuma Ewer, uh Justin Tuck all of those guys they're gonna try to get pressure on uh, you know Peyton Matt not Peyton but uh Tom Brady mm -hmm. and what I noticed is that with Tom Brady he doesn't like pressure up the middle right. because now he doesn't have that av avenue to to move around and we know he's not gonna uh, run the football so I'm sure they're gonna apply a lot of pressure but overall I I, I think uh, with the Giants uh, you know they should win this football game conversely with the Patriots um, the one thing they don't have that they did have in 07 is a deep threat now they're more of the two tight end sets formation diversity when you look at that offense I mean it's not a little West Coast pick apart thing but what do you see from them. Well, I, I think with the offense, and it starts with uh, Wes Walker and also uh, Gronkowski. Oh, man, to to have like uh, almost uh, 1,300 yards, uh, 17 touchdowns. He's an animal out on that football field, and I and I'm hoping that he he can be close to 100 percent because he's a big part of this offense. And if he can't go. I think it's going to make that secondary, uh, it's going to make it a little bit easier for uh, the Giants to uh, to try to, you know, cover uh, Wes Walker and also Aaron uh, Hernandez. Yeah. So, uh, but you got best quarterback in the league, yeah. you know, Tom Brady back there and, you know, two uh, MVPs. Uh, this is his uh, fifth Super Bowl in 11 years. Uh, and we know he, uh, he has won three. So I'm sure... He's licking his chops right now, trying to get uh, the fourth. The comparisons are all about, obviously, he's a San Mateo kid. He was loved Montana growing up and yeah, because yeah. of his cool under pressure. Well, you, you can tell with his uh, demeanor and uh, the way he stands in the pocket, delivers the football, accuracy is good, the ball is always going to be out, nice tight spiral, and, you know, just when you look at him, you just see Joe Montana all over again. Mm -hmm. You know, just the calmness and, and knowing his primary, secondary, third guy, you know exactly where those guys are going to be on the football field. Finally, who are the guys, just in general, not just these two teams, who are the receivers that Jerry Rice looks at and goes, maybe not this guy's like me, but I like this guy's style, I like this guy's game? I, you know, Detroit Lions, Kevin Johnson, uh, Arizona, Larry Fitzgerald, uh, you know, Victor Cruz, I, I like what he's doing. Uh, but there are so many receivers out there, and uh, you know these guys. And and uh, Tom Jackson, uh, we were talking about this this, this morning. Uh, as a receiver, you got to make plays. You got to be able to elevate. You got to make those difficult catches. Uh, you got to be able to score touchdowns. And it's a skill position. And uh, you know it's a lot of talent out there. Andre Johnson. Yeah. You know that's from uh, the Texans. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but, you know, I watch these guys, I support them, and, uh, and hopefully they can continue.
being productive on the field. As high octane as your offenses were in these days of four and five wide and pseudo spread, how many yards would Jerry Rice have? <laughs> <laughs> you know? And that five yard uh, Chuck Rue. Thank all you. That, so. Thank you. My God, uh, you know, I, I think I played at a time when I knew exactly where I had the defensive back. Yeah. Now, now it's a little bit different. They can't put their hands on you as much. And I think a lot of my success came from being able to feel like that. Right. So uh, now today, it's almost an advantage because you can pick yeah, him when he's on you. Exactly. Yeah. And you, you know, you running down field, you can feel him tug on you. Yeah. You know exactly where he's at and stuff. So I think I had a lot of success because of you know the rules and regulations. But I think a lot of the guys are benefiting uh, from today's rules and regulations. The five yard chuck rule. After five yards, you can't put your hands on the receiver anymore. If you do, you get penalized. Yeah. Of course, in any era, you would be the greatest, Jerry. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem.